Hi, hello and uh, welcome to the reading of Beginner's Guide to Sri Vaishnavam. We are on chapter 14. It's about Tondradi Podiyarvar. And her party buys flowers from one of the vendors outside her house. Vyasa and Parasara wake up early in the morning and go to Andal Pati. Pati, just remember that you said there were two Arvas who performed Pushpa Gaingariyam to Perumal and right now we know one of them was Peri Arvar. Can you tell us about the second Arvar now? You really have a very good memory, Vyasa. As you asked for it, let me tell you about the second Arvar who performed Pushpa Gaingariyam to Perumal. Parasara and Vyasa sat around Pati to listen about the next Arvar. He was known as Tondaradi Pudi Arvar. His parents named him Vipra Narayanan. He was born on Margari month Ketanachitram at Tirumandangudi near Kumbakona. He was very fond of Sri Ranganathan, so much so that he didn't mention any other Pirumal in the two Divya Prabandhams he rendered. One is Tirumalai and the other one is Tirupalli Erichi. It is said that one who doesn't know Tirumalai will not be able to understand Pirumal. Oh, is it, Pati? Then we both will learn Tirumalai as well. I am sure you will learn it too. Tirumalai fully explains the glories of Periya Pirumal. Do you know one special aspect about this Arvar? What is it, Pati? Have you heard the first slokam of Sri Venkatesha Supravadam? Yes, Pati, Kausalya Supraja Rama. Yes, do you know that it is from Sri Ramayanam? This was recited by Sage Vishwamitra to wake Sri Rama up. Similarly, Peri Arvar also woke Kandan Emberman up in his Pasurams. Tondaradi Podi Arvar sang Suprabhatam for Sri Ranganathan in his Tirupalli Yelchi Prabandham. Oh, this is what we hear Aryar Swami sing every day in the morning in front of Periyapirmal along with Tirupave during Margari Masam. Yes, you are very right. Let us prepare a garland with these flowers and go to Periyapirmal Sannidhi. This chapter tells us about Tondaradi Pudiyalvar, whose real name was Vipranarayana. He was doing Pushpakaingariam to Sri Ranganathar in Sri Rangam. He had a beautiful garden and used to grow beautiful flowers and make garland and offer it to Bhagavan. And his world was only Bhagavan. And he knew only Ranganathar. He didn't know anything other than Ranganathar. But once a girl entered in his life and slowly fell into love with her and he could not be away from her. So he reached that stage. But she went out of his life. He could not do his service to Bhagavan because of this. So Bhagavan gave him some bitter experiences. He was made to give silver bowl to her so that he was allowed inside her house and uh, it was found that the silver vessel belonged to the temple and it was missing in the temple so the complaint was given to the king the king arrested him but nothing was known to Vipranarayana. He was very innocent. He was not involved in that. Somebody gave him and he gave it to the gifted to this girl. And Thaya requested Peramal to show good path to Vipranarayana and, and bring him out of this pathetic condition. So Peramal did a play. Then Peramal um, appeared in the dream of the king and asked him to release him from the jail and king also followed the instructions given by the Permal and he came out then he realized because he was told by Permal that all this happened because he stopped doing service to Bhagavan and he was towards material life so he was made to understand how he got deviated from his uh, service, from doing service to Bhagavan. 
he realized his mistake he felt miserable and he did, he, he made a vow that nothing should disturb him anymore then he wanted to pray chitta so he, he did sri pada tirtha he used to do service to all the devotees of vishnu so that is why it's known as thondar adi or alvar and he used to clean the the feet of vishnu devotees and accept that water so this is how he became to i came to be known as thondaradi pudi alvar and once bhagwan told him to get back to his native place tirumandangudi was not for it he never wanted to be away from sri rangam but permal said no you go there then thondaradi pudi alvar told permal every day i am singing song pasaram for you but you are always in the reclining position i never seen you getting up permal likes is tamil thondaradi pudi alvar he sang pasarams in his two works one is tirumalai the other one is tirupalli elichi tirupalli elichi is sung every day in sri rangam kovil um, permal said no you go to tirumandangudi there you do service to me and i will appear as you wish so he had to leave that place because it was instruction given by bhagwan so he went to his native place tirumandangudi which is near kumbakonam when he reached there he found permal in the standing position with adhisheshan on the on top of his head with two concerts so thondar priyarva was so excited and he was so happy that permal fulfilled his wish he stayed there as per the instruction given by permal and did service to permal there even today we can see the garden maintained by thondaradi pudi alvar in tirumandangudi and permal looks so so rich and uh, there is no word to describe him he it, it is we should experience that so th- in tirumand tirumandangudi we we can Uh, we see the permal in a different posture in standing posture with adhisheshan with two concerts he is in how he is in reclining position the other way he is in tirumandangudi so permal loves his bhaktas so he fulfills the wishes of bhaktas